There's the G2 Optimus Prime from the real reveal of the shield. Which, I was never a big fan of the G2 Prime, but this guy has... I've grown to love this guy quite a bit. He's got good detail and a very fun transform. I like how his wheels, not only do they they pivot around, but they actually slide in. They have to sometimes turn the wheel to get it to go in, but it actually slides in. I thought that was really clever, as well as having those hit, hit leg panels fold in. Actually, while I'm here, I might as well show you some of the silver marker stuff I did. Uh, friend Turbo did way more, and he did a really good job. I just did a couple minutes. I just grazed over the little crisscross lines there, make those pop out a bit. Did his knee and the thigh. Of course, some on his leg. His, his, his leg was like all black. And it's a silver and all blue foot. So just a couple of accents right there help to to make it two toned. So I highly suggest doing that. And the raised info in here that was all blue. So you just pr brush over it lightly with your silver in there and make that so it's all pops out. Got some nice detail. Uh, I did that part there as well. Um, a little bit of silver there, but it doesn't really show because it's all gray anyhow. <coughs> just a couple of dots there and and a little crisscrossed hatches. I'm back. Anyway, but what I wanted to show is, uh, it, well, I, well, and I love the fact that his hands can, can pivot at the wrist, so he can actually, like, hold the sword up in the air or towards somebody and point, and just, boom, you're going down, Megatron, because otherwise, if it just pivots, you know, just turns at the wrist, then you're, you can, you can block and you can parry and whatnot, but you can't do cool poses like that, and you're saying, yeah, you're going I've got the by the power of Grayskull. He can even do that if he wants. As well as the handle's long enough that he can put both hands in and, and you know, batter up type of thing, baseball style. Very cool. So, but on the secondary note here of what you can do to mod him is that this see it's right there. That 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 orange piece right there, super annoying. His posability, now, especially because. Well, my Optimus Prime is right-handed anyway. So, annoying that that keeps getting in the way. So, you know what we do to annoying pieces that get in the way that aren't needed. Let's trim that bugger off. Keep this over out of the way. And I'm doing this so you can see that it's not really needed. Because there is... It, that peg is only really used to clip in here when he's in truck mode. But we have a clip up in the front. And that... Hold just fine. Oh, sorry about that. That was a little loud. Let me trim this bastard off. There, easy peasy. But now, oh well. First of all, first things first. Oh, that's so much better. His swinging arms got full range of motion now. Yes. And let's show you that he holds up fine in truck mood. So look at that nice click right there. I don't think I went through off camera. See that? Just like it would before. That, that little piece clips and holds all you need right there. Yay! Yay for easy and simple yet drastic improvement mods. Or even subtle improvement mods for that matter. But look at that, so much more visibility. And posability rocks!